Howdy folks, this is Monty once again in the San Francisco Bay Area. And this video might be titled, Will Monty Sell Out Based on a Parcel? Well, that's the question. Flying Buffalo sent this parcel to me today. Flying Buffalo may sound familiar because they're responsible for tunnels and trolls. So I should note I moved recently and Flying Buffalo still has my old postal address, even though they emailed me to say that they'd updated the postal address. So, Flying Buffalo folk, I know you're going to watch this. Please update my postal address. So, <clears throat> for those that cannot read extremely slanty, it says, Dear Monty, they use my NSA name as well. I guess they'd obviously been, uh, you know, watching other content that I might have put out. I don't know if I've let my NSA name slip, but anyway, they knew who I was. Uh, enclosed are two items that you are supposed to receive with the Deluxe Tunnels and Trolls, rule book, the pencil, and a copy of Buffalo Castle. I've also included a preview copy of the mini rules for Deluxe Tunnels and Trolls, the full colour map of the Troll World, and a copy of Dungeon of the Bear. That way you have a cross-section of what Tunnels and Trolls has to offer. I'm truly sorry that the Kickstarter has left a bad impression for you on Tunnels and Trolls. It has a loyal following and is easy to learn and play with the emphasis on role-playing and less on the sticking to uh, exacting rules. Uh, in a way, it's a bit like Linux. Hmm. Easily adaptable, open to customization, and struggling against the titans of industry. I wonder how much of the NSA investigation they really got into this with that Linux reference anyway. Uh, as I said uh, in my YouTube comments, you will get the rules as soon as we can finish them. Uh, in the meantime, here are some materials you can get, uh, so you can get a feel uh, for the game. I hope you find them at least interesting. Tunnels and Trolls is old school classic gaming. Enjoy. Steve Crompton, Art Director Flying Buffalo. Well, Steve, I have to thank you first and foremost. I also should point out that thanks to these YouTube efforts, thanks to the efforts of this very YouTube channel, Everyone now has, who was in the Kickstarter, now has the downloadable rules of Tunnels and Trolls. First thing, absolutely like the first thing that should have been done, thanks to the Tunnels and Trolls folk for doing this. It's, it's been five months since I put out the initial video. Six really now. And I'm not too fussed about this, but I'd like to thank uh, Stephen for, uh, for sending me this. So, in classic... Uh, Unboxing circumstances allow me to open this up. When I originally got this parcel, I thought, because I didn't read the letter until I actually read it out loud here, that I might be getting some of the old school tunnels and trolls stuff. But instead, new school stuff. Ah, oh, the tape. Ah, oh, will the tape rip off the tunnels and trolls pen? Ah, must roll really slowly. Ah, oh, still has tape stuck on it. Oh well, I'm going to have to work with that. Anyway, that aside, so, the complete dungeon of the bear. Wow, even signed by the art director, look at that. Now the other folk would sign it. Hopefully this came from Arizona now. That's one of the benefits of the old D&D stuff coming from uh, the Midwest was it had a genuine musty smell associated with it. This is dry, crisp paper, ladies and gentlemen. No mustiness here. Well, it looks dense and interesting, and the general requirement of the dungeon map. So there's a general rule in psychology where if you get something for nothing, you should not do a review of it because it's effectively the same as being paid for your opinion. So, I think this looks okay. <laughs> this looks pretty darn decent. This is Buffalo Castle by Rick Loomis. My understanding was Rick Loomis had absolutely no connection with regards to creating the stuff from previous correspondence, but I'll let this one slide. So these are the modules which I think have previously only been available in PDF form, and they sent them to me here. This looks like it's a choose-your-own-adventure style game. 
quite interesting. So you go D, you know, D8, then you have a series of options. So C17 or 17C rather, and you flick it through. Interesting. Now this is very old school. Third part, the preview pack. Wow. Deluxe Tunnels and Trolls short form rule. Well, I will. Sadly, not summer 2013, but you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. Well, this looks really detailed. I'm going to have to look through it, learn the rules. Maybe Mrs. Monty and I will have a play. You never know. This is my previously mentioned letter. And last but not least, the Deluxe Tunnels and Trolls map. And a whole bunch of other stuff, which I think I might have received previously. One of these days, I will learn how to actually open these things properly. They have my full nerd credentials. Okay. So this is the map with the cardboard. And place the cardboard elsewhere. And here we have the Deluxe Tunnels and Trolls map in some of its partially centered glory. Well, Mr. Compton, thank you very much. This is how you get a good review done on Monty's reviews. Um, to be perfectly frank, it's hard to feign disgust for such a long period of time. I, I appreciate this, so thank you very much. Now I'm in the new abode, I should be able to make more of these videos a lot more easily. And I also have things like the, um, the bunker of my, uh, my NSA names <laughs> YouTube channel. So the bunker video will be coming very, very soon. An updated bunker video. How has the bunker survived over the past four years? Uh, high schoolers around the world want to know. Anyway, Monty in the San Francisco Bay Area. Let's see. Let's see if I can get any, any action on the Tolls Trolls pen. There we go. No, not quite. There we go. No. Oh, well. Monty in the San Francisco Bay Area, breaking the graphite and signing out.